Okay, what we're gonna do today, this is a 2013 Toyota Tundra. We are gonna go ahead and program the brand new key for the immobilizer. This is, as you see, is a brand new key, it's not even cut. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna program the chip for this that is gonna work with this truck. After it's done, we can take them to the locksmith and have them cut. If you don't want it, you can go to the Toyota and pay them $60, $70 to do the same thing. So I bought the blank key. This is the blank key. Again, this is a Toyota uh, Tundra 2013. If you do have a Toyota or Lexus, anything after 2013, and you do have an immobilizer in your vehicle, this is the way to add additional key. We can have till four key. That is include of your master key. To doing so, you need your master key. That's the key that you're currently turning on your truck with it. Inside of this, I already cut them up. I show it to you guys how it works. This is the key, I take them off. This is the chip that is, see this is the key for this truck. This is the chip that we're gonna program. You can take them off. If I take this, this uh, chip out of here right now and I try to turn on the truck with it, you will see the truck start, but it never coming on. To turning them on, you have to have a chip in there. So uh, we are gonna program extra key that I need for in here for the truck. To doing so, before till 2007, you have to open the driver's side door and use the lock, unlock, and push the brake, go through the certain position to program in it. Now, for anything after 2007, for Toyota and Lexus, you need this tool. They call them uh, tech stream, like a technology. Tech stream, this is the, uh, they call this one OB2 or uh, onboard uh, diagnostic. It's uh, the same connector that 90% of the vehicle after 1997, they do have standard connector. They come in OB2 or OB1. This is OB2. So you're just connecting them. It came with a software. As I said, this they call this one. Tech stream, you can buy it through the eBay, cost about 40 bucks or so. You install the software, it's coming with a PC base. I already installed them in my laptop right in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna connect one end of this cable that is gonna be a special connector right in here in my OB2, right under the dashboard. Let's see if I can connect to it. And the other end of it is gonna be USB2. It's gonna to go to the laptop, we're connecting them to the laptop, all right? To doing so, now we take the brand new key out and get them ready. As I said, this key is not cut. We don't need to have them cut before programming. We can program it and then cut them. We launched the software, they call them TechStream, as it shows right in here, TIS. I'm gonna go ahead and click after we connect the USB and the other end it shows the LED is coming on. You can see now right now the LED is on. We put a master key in the ignition and we turn it on. We don't need to turn the engine on, just leave them in the on position and then click on the connect to the vehicle. We connect it to the vehicle right in here. Just gonna wait a little. Then the screen is gonna pop up. It's gonna go through the certain windows till it do the handshaking with a computer on the uh, vehicle. As soon as it coming up, it's gonna ask you what type of vehicle you do have. It's gonna be Toyota. You have a selection of Toyota or Lexus and then you pick which vehicle do you have. In this scenario, you give me a Sequoia or Tundra. I'm gonna pick up Tundra. What year is it and what type of engine do you have? I picked 2013 and this is the engine that I do have, 1URE. -E. Then I'm just gonna click next and wait. You will see the processing that goes through. It's another window, it's will gonna pop out. All right. Okay. We do have a bunch of the yellow, uh, what they call, tab right in here. We're gonna go ahead and click on immobilizer. Remember that if you wanna program the new key, you need this software. If you need to program the new fob, fob they call them, or remote, you need this program. 
you'll be able to use a lot usage for this program that is right in here. So I'm clicking on immobilizer right in here. The window is coming up. Then it's gonna give me a couple options. I'm gonna go for the click on the utility. And then when it's done, it's gonna give me these options that I do have right in here. Customs, uh, immobilizer, code reset, transponder code erasure or key registration you can have till four key so this is my last one that i'm programming right now so i click on the uh, key registration it, i double click and wait you're almost done not many steps left okay it's coming it said uh, welcome to the immobilizer regis uh, key registration wizard and uh, it said uh, click to the next for the going through the procedure that it has next it said the step one i have 120 seconds to turn the uh, remove the key insert the key back again turn them on that is master key they talking about and then we're going to click next next Now we're going to go a step two. It said remove the key. I remove the key. Click next. Insert the brand new key that you do have. You do not need to do anything. Just say next. And then you will see. It said now registering. Now it's registering that uh, immobilizer to the, that uh, transponder to the vehicle. This is the procedure. It takes about uh, maybe 90 seconds or so. Now we are high, well, done to the 55 second. You just leave them in there. You do not to turn them on. Just put them in a place. I actually you cannot move them because that key wasn't cut yet. Regardless. So just wait till it get done. As soon as it get done, you're gonna be done with the programming the chip. And then I will show you how you can check them out. It's gonna jump. Okay, it's done. So the programming is done. You can just disconnect the cable and put them away. You're done with it. Now we check to make sure the key that we are program it does work or not. To doing so, I'm going to use the uh, key without the chip. This is going to be the key. I remove the immobilizer from it. So I'm going to put them in a place. Hold the new key that I do have right by the key that is in ignition. Close to it. Because if it's going to be close to it, then the magnetic uh, field that they do have is going to pick up the code out of this key. And then the truck is will going to come out. I just hold this key. You want to come in here and take a picture from I'm removing the chip out of the key. This key is already cut. If I put them in and I try to turn on the car with it, at the truck with it, you will see the start and it's not coming on. Now, if I get this key that we just programmed, brand new key, right by it in the same area that you be able to pick up the electromagnetic field after i start you will see the vehicle is going to come out now the car is on the vehicle is on the truck is on you don't need to have this anymore so if i shut this thing off take the key off put them back and i try to turn them on it's not going to come on as you see the start but it's not coming on i take them off put them back in hold the ma because this chip inside of this key is already being programmed. I hold them right in here, start, and the vehicle is coming up. So the only thing that is left, you're just gonna take this key to the locksmith and having them, they cut in them the same as your master key or the other key that is right in here, it doesn't matter. If they cut it, then you do have extra key. That's all procedure that you can do for Toyota or Lexus. Anything after 2007, you do need to have this cable that I just showed to you. They call them tech stream, and it's coming with a little diskette that you can install in them in your PC. It will not work with a Mac. It just work with a PC. That's it. Uh, you can buy this key. I bought this extra key. You can buy it from Toyota, or you can buy them through the eBay. I bought this one through the eBay. They cost about $28 or so. If you call Toyota, they try to sell you the same thing for 80 bucks. And this is the original uh, Toyota key. 
What is the little? It has a little right in here. This is the number out of it. Make sure when you buy this key, it has a G. It said G on it. This is the, the key that it match with my car. They do have A, B, C. This must be G. It said it printed right in here, engraved on the key. It said G.